I'm trying to make $3,000 on DoorDash and Uber Eats just working part-time about 25 to maybe 35 hours a week. And we'll see if we can hit that $3,000. Today is January 12th. It is Friday and we are done at the end of January. And we are, uh, we're under $800 right now. So we still have a long way to go, but we're thinking if we can get a really good weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, then we are gonna be just fine with with this challenge and the first order that we got was DoorDash and well actually okay before I get to the first DoorDash order I did notice that today Uber Eats started showing me how much the tip was for some of these orders that's really nice and then even with uh their the next order that I got I got some Boost Plus pay that started at 11 a.m and so it showed me the tip and the Boost Plus pay and you know, that's just so nice that they're very transparent about that now hopefully that sticks around okay but moving on to the first DoorDash order of the day nine dollars and fifty cents for a catering order and i know because i'm in the large order program i know that this is one's probably going to be more than nine dollars and fifty cents because the subtotal has to be at least one hundred dollars so i was feeling pretty good about this one i drove to that first restaurant it was a very easy pickup it was already just sitting there right on the counter waiting for me so i grabbed that and drove just the remaining mile and a half to the customer and oh man starting out with a really good first order 36 dollars wow such a fantastic start to the day and then we got a 10 dollars order from uber eats saw the tip saw the boost plus pay thought it was good enough for me and so i accepted it wow this is so so nice I, again i just can't say how good it is to see the tip on uber eats and Honestly, it feels like Uber Eats is trending in the direction of uh, being more transparent with their drivers, something that I absolutely love. And with DoorDash, it seems like the transparency and also like the bonus pay is trending down in the wrong direction because um, they're doing these challenges now instead of peak pay. And this one is like you complete six deliveries in a, in a row without uh, declining any of them and you get $9. Well, that's not good because the next order that they sent me <laughs> was just so bad and why would I want to accept it It was like eight dollars for 10 miles like obviously I'm not going to accept that and it's going to completely ruin like any challenge that I was working on and so and, oh there's another thing I wouldn't have noticed this probably today unless somebody left a comment about it um in the comment section on one of my videos it's that uh DoorDash just decreased the base pay in my market it used to be 250 on every single order unless it was a stack and uh now it is just always two dollars just no matter what so what is up with that that's that's so bad. I noticed it on the next delivery that I had for DoorDash and it was like $8, $8.50 for Chick-fil-A. This one was okay. It was perfectly fine. So I took it and then I noticed that uh, $2 base pay and when I dropped it off and I was, I was so sad about that. All of that only took one hour. And so by the end of the first 60 minutes, we had $55. It was so crazy. Big thanks to that first order of the day. Things were looking really good, but uh, then it took a turn for the worst. But before that happened, we actually got two pretty decent orders. One for Uber Eats for $10. Mileage was pretty short. And especially like on the way to the restaurant is only like a half mile from that last drop off. And the order took about like three minutes to be ready. And then we were off to go drop off the order at a hospital and there's not really a whole lot of restaurants around there but I did get the next order from one of the restaurants that's like the closest to that hospital so we got one for $13 also from Uber Eats for Protein House it was a pretty substantial order like five different meals and I knew that it wasn't going to go up from $13 but I was still uh, happy to do it about a five minute wait in that restaurant and then got it dropped off and here's where things went pretty bad. I noticed that I hadn't got a DoorDash order in a while, even though I did not pause myself. Sometimes I do this just to kind of gauge how busy it is outside and um, just absolutely nothing from DoorDash. So I knew something was suspicious and it turns out that uh, there's 
there has to be some sort of DoorDash glitch because they keep sending me orders. I keep getting notifications from them, uh, but uh, nothing is popping up on my phone. And so it's just saying, oh, the order didn't reach your phone. And so it just like was unsuccessful and we paused your dash. So this happened like a whole bunch of times and uh, I didn't know when this would end, but I, I just kept myself on pause and I'm like, I'm gonna do my best to try to get a DoorDash order. And then next up we did get an Uber one as we we're trying to pass the time. And uh, it wasn't that great, $8 for like three miles from Chick-fil-A. Um, but I realized I just needed to take Uber Eats orders. I'm like, I have to do it because I have no idea when I'm gonna go back online on DoorDash. And sadly, it's it has been a while and I'm still not back on. So I did have to take one. Actually, this one was really good and no complaints here. It was like $12 for uh, shopping for seven items at CVS. This one, very, very easy. It took, I'm pretty sure it took way less than the 27 minutes that uh, was estimated when I accepted it. I was like, oh, most of these items are like food or drinks. Like we're going to get this done so quickly. And we did. So nice uh, $12 right there, even though I did have to go all the way up to the third floor apartment to drop it off but not really a huge deal and then we went back to the hot spot still nothing from DoorDash and so then we eventually took this six dollar order for McDonald's I was sitting right next to McDonald's and it was just a, basically just right across the street across a busy street but it was still still pretty easy and they oh, let's see if I can get it out uh, $5 cash tip along with that $6 order. So pretty cool there. And we're actually sitting at $111 right now through the first just over three hours. Things really slowed down in the last like 30, 45 minutes because no DoorDash orders. Uh, but I realized the Uber volume the amount of orders that I'm getting just is not enough to continue for right now, but we are gonna come out here for dinner. So it's like 2.30 right now, and I should be out here in about two hours, and hopefully DoorDash is fixed because there's already been so many problems with DoorDash today, like the base pay drop in and all that. So I would like to continue doing deliveries on there. Hopefully it happens, so we'll see you there. We're back out here for dinner, got started at around 5 p.m. and we were looking to make some good money tonight and that is exactly what we're going to get. I mean, this first order for Uber Eats is only $7 and like 16 cents, but the mileage is so short. Of course, I'm going to accept that for my first order back. And I noticed that on Uber Eats, I I guess they stopped showing me how much the tip is, which uh, I guess it was a nice like two hour run, but now they're just not showing me, which is disappointing, but that's all right. Uh, did that one, drove back to the hot spot, declined a few $9 orders for like four and five miles because I didn't want to do that. I just thought something better was going to come to my phone. And yes, $11.50 for Rubio's, such a quick and easy order getting a really nice payout and it even turned out to be a little bit more than that like $12 and like 23 cents and then then I had to make a decision that was going to change the entire trajectory of the night it was a $20 order for Uber Eats going like 10 11 miles and I knew if I took this one I would be far outside of my hot spot and I was like do I do it because I don't know if I'm going to get any good orders over in that area well it turns out uh, yeah, I have been getting good orders in that area and I haven't even made it back to my hotspot yet, yet. So, I mean, we're just having a really good time with this Grubhub order for $10.43. And this one, yeah, the mileage is pretty decent. And as we were dropping that one off, we got one for DoorDash for $30, over $30. And so I'm really looking forward to delivering this one. In fact, I need to uh, go inside and pick it up and then we'll be on our way. I did have to wait about 15 minutes in the restaurant, unfortunately, because there was actually two orders for the same customer, and the second order was just a very small like plate of rice, uh, but they didn't put that in the system, and the restaurant was extremely busy, and so they tried to rush it out, at least that's what they told me. They tried to make it their first priority in the kitchen to get that one out, uh, but 15 minutes later, I had both bags, so... 
all right, whatever. And then we were off to the very, very far drive and we got actually $37 for it, not 30. So yeah, I'll take that. The only problem was it was gonna be like a 15 mile drive to get back to the hot spot that I wanted to be in for the rest of the night. And so I started to make my way back about 10 miles in, I got another catering order. It was $8.50 for about three and a half miles. Mm, yeah, well, I like immediately accepted that. I'm like, yeah, I've been driving far too long. I don't want to drive an additional five miles. I'm good here taking this order. And even if it's eight fifty, I guess it's okay. I mean, I did have to reject like a $12 Uber Eats order to accept this one, but you know, Hopefully it's more than eight fifty, and it turned out to be just over twenty dollars. So, oh yeah, that was a good decision there. Uh, but I was still very far away from the hot spot now, and I was thinking about coming back. But, but I got one for twenty seven dollars on Uber Eats to take me thirteen miles away from where I wanted to go, and I just had to accept it. I mean, like it's twenty seven dollars. It's not like I'm just gonna ignore that one. On a normal night, I might have actually rejected it because I wanted to stay close to the hotspot. But on a day like today, when I'm just driving really far distances all over the place, sure, why not do it? And yeah, I mean, it was only ended up being like a $4 tip and the rest of it was base pay, but it doesn't matter. Still good enough for me. And now it was time to make the trek back once again. But instead of actually doing that, uh, I was about halfway back and then I got one for $10 and it was going to, uh, the mileage says 12 miles. <laughs> okay. So very far, but it was going to drop me in a good area. And uh, so I just had to accept it. I'm like, I'm there's I'm not going to get anything else to take me back. So sure, this one works. And as I was getting close to that first restaurant and uh, pick it up, I got an add on for $14, an additional a lot of miles, but it was in the same area as the uh, drop off for the first one. So I just said, yeah. <laughs> and so after I picked up the second order, I had like a 10 mile drive to the first customer and I'm sure their food was not warm by the time I got there. Uh, but I did my best. It was in my hot bag. I, I tried to do everything I could, but uh, oh well. And then the uh, second drop off was only like a mile away. And so I thought maybe, maybe it's time to call it. I mean, there's a lot of driving, but no, I was one delivery away from meeting my quest. I had to do three deliveries after 8 p.m. and to receive an additional $6. So I'm like, all right, let's just do one more. And it was $11 for five miles. Actually dropped me in a pretty favorable location to call it a night. So that's what I'm going to do on DoorDash. I believe we made just over like $100. And on Uber Eats, it was like 170 something like that. So like 283 total, if my math is correct. And that means that we are over $1,000 for this January challenge. Finally, only took me 12 days, but hopefully Saturday and the Sunday shifts that I'm going to post after this one are pretty good. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to check out any links in the description that'll help out the channel, keep it going. I'll see you in the next one.